Hey guys, what's up? It's Len. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. It has been a long time since I've made a video, and I hope you all watched the previous uh, video where I announced that we would be recreating Camp Half-Blood again. Uh, more details on that, but basically, think of this like a like a recast of like your favorite show, except this time they do it right. What I mean by that is actually making Camp Half-Blood. Um, it took me about a day or so, or a couple hours technically, but over the course of two-ish days to make this map. Just a bit laggy, I didn't uh, load everything in yet. But today we will be making the big house. You know, start off, you saw the time lapse for making the, the, the entrance gate. And this time I decided, you know what, maybe I should also give directions. Because I realized there are some people that asked, um, I think it's some of my older ones, like, could you do like a step-by-step -step tutorial, a more in-depth tutorial? And to that I say, no. I, 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 part of me wants to do that, but another part of me wants you guys to go and create your own. I am merely here to give you inspiration and all that good stuff, but I will give you basic info, such as the blocks I will be using and the dimensions. So the big house described in the book is a large farmhouse, essentially, uh, with a wraparound patio that goes around the entire building. So what I've done here is, the blue outline here is the build itself, that's the building, while the orange and yellow outline would be the patio, porch, however you want to call it. So the big house itself, I've labeled it out, it's 34 by 28. And then with the patio, it is 44 by 38, so it's a 5 block outwards reach. Um, from the corner. I believe this is also smaller than the big house I created in my previous Camp half Flood build. Um, and to that, it's just preference. Um, I realized some of the builds in that Camp half Flood were, were pretty good. Some were really nice, but a lot of them were out of proportion. Uh, specifically Hermes Cabin um, compared to everything else. I know it is the largest one, I believe. Um, but the way I made it, it's it was whack looking. So we're gonna recreate everything. And right here we have uh, Ted the Frog. How you doing? Uh, it's great. And the blocks I will primarily be using uh, would be these warped uh, stems, warped planks for the blue. And then I found the waxed weathered cut copper. So I'm going to bring it out and show you guys what blocks I intend to use. They all have nice coloration. The reason why I don't like the warped block is because the blue is too dark. It is... I don't know how to describe it because it's a baby blue described in the book. And remember last time I used concrete to create it. That had... You know, they didn't have the texture, so this time I want to use the warp block to actually get the wood, maybe. Uh, and I was also thinking of maybe just using cut copper. But now I realize it's more of a green, so we're not going to do that. The build will be darker, unfortunately. Well, the flooring and all that stuff, I'll stick with birch planks. It's a nice light color, contrast the dark. Actually, I've never actually contrasted it properly. Not too bad, actually. That's actually really nice looking. So we have that. And then, of course, glass for the windows. Uh, I have a texture pack that makes it pretty much invisible. And for the roofing, we're using mud bricks. And for the white trim, I'm using diorite. I would use quartz, except quartz is too clean, if that makes sense. So, with that, let's get to the time lapse and let's get building.
all right so we're done or more like i'm done uh with this fucking build because my god it was difficult to make um i'll say out of all the builds the big house is my least favorite to build in both this and the previous uh iteration of it i say this iteration much much nicer looking in my opinion it's not as tall uh, if you remember my old one was outrageously tall, outrageously big. Some points I didn't know what to do with some of the rooms. But it has a standard uh, farmhouse style look to it. It's uh, quaint, I guess. I tried to use, you know, whatever farmhouses would use, so like wood, maybe some stone. Um, but the bare minimum is there. There will be perhaps an update i have not made the basement yet but if we come inside you see the porch wraps around as it is described go inside it is empty there needs to be a infirmary which i am i'm well aware of which will go maybe maybe here or like in front of the office or something somewhere there's an infirmary in here i'm well aware of that uh and here is Sharon's office. Sharon? Chiron? Whatever. Um, again, it's not very decorated. Uh, I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. Um, got a lot of things going on in my personal life as well. Um, but Chiron, Sharon's, whatever. Horseman's office and living area. Very simple, very quaint. Got the flat screen TV over there. You know, my man ballin'. My man, my man got the uh, making bank from Camp Half Blood. Uh, travel upstairs. Again, the only thing that's really like noted in the books is the ping pong table, which they have the cabin meetings at. Um, little rec area. So I added the pool table once again. <coughs> Excuse me. And if we ignore the lag for a little bit. Uh, added two vending machines, you know, move the flaps up, you can get your, get your snacks, whatever. Um, didn't actually rig up any redstone this time, it's just, just looks like it. I don't know why I have this if I have that. Um, little sitting area. Nice, nice sitting area. I got a bookshelf with books on it if they wanted to read, uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Percy Jackson universe. I don't, I don't know. Through here leads us to the attic uh which i had a little trouble decorating i'm not sure how to decorate it so i used the soul lanterns instead uh give off a dimmer light i remember last time uh the previous build i used redstone torches um so i added some bookcases don't have the trinkets and such maybe i'll add those in later on but i have the looms uh if you don't know the looms the side of it looks like the um like empty bookcases and it lines up pretty well uh see it's it's basically it uh, only problem is it's just empty um my texture pack currently gives me varied um varied textures for the bookshelves so you know they're not all the same copy you can see each one is like slightly different these two are the same that's those are the same but it's a varied copy so it's not like you're looking at the same thing over and over and over again but that is about it for the big house. Um, there's not much else to add to it. Maybe some more decorations for the walls. Um, vanilla wise, it's gonna be difficult. But later on, maybe if you guys want to see um, better decorations with like chairs and tables and actual things, I can mod this series. Um, but for now, I want to keep everything vanilla base and certain texture packs i guess um but i'll keep it vanilla because i want those of you that are on pocket edition on bedrock edition uh still be able to make these builds or at least a version of these builds without having to mod your game with unique blocks chairs and all that stuff so if you've joined the video a like would be greatly appreciated again thank you all for sticking by my side through all of this i know it's taken a long time for me to get a video out but in the end we finally did it and uh, i hope this build is better than my previous one um in my opinion i think it's like a hundred times better uh 
based on size and I guess accuracy to how it's supposed to look. It's a farmhouse, it's not a giant three-story building. The attic isn't its own thing, it's part of like the inside of the roof. Um, but yeah, maybe next episode you'll see I have the strawberry field made. Um, I don't think that's going to be a video in and on itself. After all, it's just a strawberry field. I'm going to use berry bushes for that, um, so you guys know. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for episode 2 of this series. This I feel like this one is going to be more, hopefully, in my opinion, more successful. Um, my point of view, as in building-wise, everything's going to be much more organized. Um, I'm actually using landscapes. Look at those hills, look at these trees. Like, come on. This is Camp Half-Blood. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Be happy, be awesome, and be good people.